Today's special guest is Julia, and she's here to show us how to create an easy fall craft project. Welcome, Julia. Thank you. What a fun idea to use fabric in a non-traditional way with pumpkins. Yeah, this is super fun, super easy, great for like a girl's night in crafting. Um, let's first talk about um, purchasing your pumpkins. You can go super big or super small with these little pumpkin pie pumpkins. Um, it doesn't really matter what shape they are. You just want to make sure that you don't have any um, blemishes where they might go rotten, like dents or anything. Um, so lick your pumpkin over. Look it over. Make sure it's all intact and good. Okay. Um, the other thing that you want to think about is the stems on your pumpkin. It's if you want this cute bow on top, then it's better to have a good stem for it to grab onto. And I love that you used all different kinds of fabric, not your traditional fall fabrics. I yeah. love this black and white gingham, neon, and that is just a great way. Yeah, to make just go with your personal taste. Um, as fall far as item. yeah, and as far as choosing your fabric, um, anything goes according to your personal taste. But just keep in mind that the more um, solid, bright fabrics will not show that orange pumpkin through, where this chevron that has white will show a little bit of the orange through, and if you um, are picky about that, then you might want to avoid the ones with a lot of white or light yellows and stay with the more solid, dark ones. But as you can see, the gingham um, yeah, looks, looks great, fantastic. and that's got a yeah. lot of white, but it's just layered over each other. Yeah, with the black so. bow, and these bows are just ripped just ripped and they're not even sewn so right great okay so let's get started um what you're going to want is a, a piece of fabric for the larger pumpkins you want to go about three quarters of a yard um that's just a guess and you're going to cut one inch strips of these so just line up get your one inch and just cut your strips and it probably doesn't have to be Perfect piecing strips, does it? No, they don't have to be perfect. Um, you know, if they're a little bit wider at one end, if you don't cut perfectly. <laughs> this is great for the people who are not perfectionists. You're gonna cut off your salvage edges. You don't want this part to show. And then the way to measure is just, you're gonna bunch this right up to the stem when you're gluing it on. So you wanna start measuring from there. And then go to the bottom and about right there, um, just past the center of the bottom pumpkin, you're going to stop and cut. And then you'll cut just a lot of pieces. This is your guide. Just create a lot of fabric strips. Create a lot of strips. Here I have a big stack I've already done. And um, so that's, that's what you'll do from there. And it looks like once you're done, it just kind of all meshes together. It top. does. Okay. So we've cleared off our workspace and we put a plastic down because now we get to Mod Podge, right? Yes, we get to Mod Podge and that gets messy. So um, what I do is I just get my little foam brush and a bowl to pour it in. That's probably the easiest way. Pour some Mod Podge and they, in there. You can do so many fun projects with Mod Podge, can't you? You can. It's fabulous. So this is, is so easy. All you're going to do is start gluing. Just one area. And a great just project you could do with your kids. The kids can do it. Again, we made a lot of these with just girls night in one night. Some friends just sitting around the table visiting, doing pumpkins. And the kids were all involved. It was just fun. So that's all you're going to do. When you get a little extra down at the bottom, just cut it off. And then just make sure that's secure. And if you want to Mod Podge as you go like that, you can. Otherwise, you can leave this all dry as you go. And, um, and Mod Podge, you're going to, when this is all finished, you're going to go over the whole thing so that you get this nice, shiny finish. But this is, so what I'm doing is I'm bunching it, as you can see, right up. On the stem. At the stem. And then I've created a section. For me, this is the easiest way to work with this. So you're going to fill your fill in the section. In. So this is 
as you can see, I just created a little section. I'm going to fill it in. Now the trick here is you're going to want to overlap these pieces with each other. So I put a little bit of Mod Podge right there on this first piece and I'm overlapping. Okay, I'll hold that still. And then I'm going to put a little bit more down here. Make sure I get a little bit on that strip of first strip of fabric. And since that's really loose, I'm just going to glue that down. So you can see that overlap. So we're just slowly working around this pumpkin. We are. We've got a section done and we're just plugging away. So right now I'm just creating another section like we had talked about. So you can see I just added another section that I'm going to fill in. Just work a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter if you go right to left, left to right, just be messy. You can just use your scraps or whatever you have around. You really can. What to do with that last half yard of fabric. And you know what's so great is on these small pumpkins, it takes hardly anything. Maybe a 12 inch piece of fabric. And what a great idea. Because yeah. sometimes you just don't want to carve out those pumpkins. You don't. You, this is, <laughs> looks so nice on your step and you don't have to get all messy. And if you're like me, you don't want to carve the pumpkins. So this is a great second option. A cuter way. I'm just not good at carving those those fancy pumpkins that you see. Mine always look like a disaster. So <laughs> this way I can at least look like I have some skills. Yeah, this is a great <laughs> idea. Great idea. And I have to say, when um, after these were when we started these at my house, my kids thought this was the silliest idea. And uh, when they were done, they all just love them. They think they look awesome. Even my teenage daughter, who's a tough sell on this stuff, thought it was great. It's so fun. Yeah. And then they can choose the fabric they want to do, so they get their yeah. choice on their pumpkin, but how fun. Yeah, it's just a really nice twist. Okay, so one thing that we just noticed is that I got some, a little bit of the Mod Podge on my, the sleeve of my blouse. And I just wanted to point out that this is a water-soluble product, so it's easy to wash out. It's you probably wouldn't want it to sit on your clothing very right. long, but just it is toss it in the washer. Water-soluble, so you can wash it out. Right. Okay, so we're just finishing up our last, very last section, and then I can show you how to um, seal the pumpkin with the Mod Podge. I really like how this is turning now, and the colors are so fun with the polka dot. They I'm really are. I mean, the pumpkin's already orange, and you wouldn't think it would, you know, make a difference, but it's just fun. That polka dot makes it. Okay, so let's put it upright. There we go. And as you can see, see we're kind of a mess up top, but it's okay. You just be Gonna generous with that. your glue, seal it. And it just all turns white once it's dried. <clears throat> So you can see where you've hit and missed and just kind of cover it all up with the white and it will dry clear. Exactly. So look at this. I'm just generously coating the pumpkin and this will seal the fabric. It will become um, hard and have a little bit of shine to it. It'll look great. Give it a little bit of luster. Yeah. So you're just going to go all the way around this whole thing. Seal it up. And just don't be afraid to really goop it on that center. And if your center up here is really messy and uneven, that's why we have the bow. The bow will hide all mistakes. Any rough, <laughs> any rough edges. edges. <laughs> it's not just for looks. It's to hide all our rough edges up there. Okay, tip it so over tip for you. It. And you're going to go top to bottom, just the whole thing. 
every last surface. That's why it's good to have to a covered. plastic liner on the bottom to yes. protect your table. And really, even though it's water soluble, you don't want to get this glue on your you table. Don't. You can you can throw down a, a plastic tablecloth, or you can throw down a trash bag, any type of plastic, just to protect your table from the mess. That way, you're really just not afraid to get in there and get messy with it. Okay, so we're just finishing up um, with all of our glue, just covering this whole thing, and it'll take. Uh, probably about 20, it'll take about a half hour to start to dry. You'll see the Mod Podge get clear. You can already start to see it actually mm -hmm. in some areas. Uh, but I would give it a full 24 hours to really cure. If you're if it's not fully cured and you put it on a surface, like a uh, soft surface like carpet or anything like it'll that, it'll stick. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a finished pumpkin out of the same fabric. And look how fantastic. That looks. Yeah, and you can and see you still that nice, orange. nice hard surface there. And just a raw edge bowl. Yep. Just we literally just tore, tore it on tore, grain and tore that fabric on grain and um, created that bow. So what an easy project for the yeah. holidays. So thank you, Julia. You're welcome.